All right, guys, what's up? So um, today I'm actually going to be making a um, at-home coronavirus quarantine workout or whatever. So I actually have a little bit of gym equipment, and um, I know a lot of people that that don't have gym equipment. So I'm going to do this um, this like I guess tutorial of like a workout, kind of like half gym equipment, half non gym equipment. So um, I'll show like different variations of with equipment and without equipment um, that you can use pretty much in every household. So yeah, let's get to it real quick. First thing I'm doing, so this is gonna be a uh, at home like back slash bicep workout. Um, and for the first thing we're gonna be doing is any sort of like um, pull up variation. So for me, I actually have this pull up bar right here, but if you don't have a pull up bar at home, you could literally find any sort of like, you know, piece of house equipment like this for example, I could do pull ups on this and um, that would be like, you know, executed the exact same way as pull-ups on that. So like you could use a door frame, you could use literally almost anything. You can go in your garage and you can find one of those, those beams that just sits up there and you can do pull-ups on that. But for this first set, uh, I'm gonna do um, probably four or five sets of like eight. That was my fourth set of pull-ups. So for the next exercise, oh God, my breath is really hot out here. Um, second exercise I'm gonna do is uh, some barbell rows. So I know a lot of people don't have barbells, so I personally do have a barbell, but you can use almost anything for a barbell row. You can do single arm barbell rows, you can do double hand barbell rows. Example of like what you could use for a barbell row. In my garage, I have these like pool chemicals or whatever. You could literally grab one of those those buckets and you could just do literally bent over barbell rows and I'll execute that real quick, show y'all, and then I'm gonna do my actual sets with the barbell. I would do um, high volume since you don't have like a ton of weight to work with, so I would do sets anything from like 12 to 20 rep range. Since I only have a bar with two 25s, so it's only 95 pounds, I'm gonna do probably sets of like 15, probably like four or five sets of 15 and whatnot. But yeah, and you could also use like, I have like propane tanks over there. You could use those to row because that's even more weight. But yeah, just literally just use things around your house that you, you know that would be heavy enough for you to get like a pump in and whatnot. We are, we are reaching for the stars But we're making this too hard And I wonder where you are Yeah, so another thing I wanted to say Half this equipment in here, I got for free Like, actually more than half, probably Like everything almost So, this rack that I got right here Which is just like a super basic rack, like literally doesn't have adjustable um, pins or anything. It's literally just like a pull-up bar and bench. This bench we've had for literally years, but this rack I got for free off Facebook Marketplace. This I got for free off Facebook Marketplace. This I got for free from a friend. And yeah, so if you're looking just to get some really cheap gym equipment, Facebook Marketplace is really good. And like Craigslist because people literally you know, don't want the clutter, so they're just trying to get rid of it, and they'll give it up free. So, yeah, check those places out um, if you're looking for some cheap and or free equipment. Yeah. All right, so for the next workout we're gonna do, um, a lot of people have resistance bands at their house. I personally do, so what I'm gonna do for this next, next exercise is I'm gonna do resistance band face pulls, supersetted with resistance band st uh, straight arm lat pull downs. And I'm gonna do this right here it's a there's my resistance band right there hooked up to my rack you can literally hook it up to like a door frame anything else pretty much and I'm just gonna you know camera almost fell right there that would have been bad 
Yeah, so basically just gonna do those resistance band face pulls. And I'm pretty sure most people know how those are executed. You know, just face pull. You know, do like three sets of 15 of this. And if you don't know what a face pull targets, a face pull targets your rear delts, your traps, and a little bit of your upper back. So do like 15 of these. And then we'll switch it up. We'll get a little wider grip on it. And we'll do straight arm lat pull downs. I'll adjust this a little bit actually. You can't really see that. Yeah, so straight arm lat pull downs with a little wider grip. Literally just the same thing you would do in a normal gym with normal equipment. But really just focus on the contraction and all that. And basically we'll be doing like three sets of probably like 15 of both of those, like super set back to back. And yeah, so I'm gonna do two more sets real quick and then we're back. So that's it for those um, straight arm lat pull downs and face pulls. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of bicep work, and this goes for the same thing as saying with those rows and whatnot. Not everyone has like dumbbells or a barbell that they can curl with. So if you don't have any equipment at all and you want to get like a nice bicep pump, you can literally grab. You either grab a propane tank or you could grab, you know, literally anything that's you know within a range of like 20, 15, 30, 40 pounds, depending how strong you are. For me, I'm gonna do, um, I actually have a singular dumbbell right here that I got for free, that's 20 pounds. And I also have <clears throat> the 20 pound um, plates, 20, no, 25 pound plates, my bad, and the barbell. So I'm gonna be doing curls with the barbell and whatnot. Another thing that's really good if you don't have any equipment is literally if you just grab a broom and you put some like like a bunch of random stuff in a backpack, you put that backpack in the center of that broom and put your hands on either side of the backpack and just do curls. It's essentially the exact same thing as using a barbell with weight because you know it's it's a weighted basically curl bar. So you could also do that for biceps. You could do um, reverse curl, you know, like this, or you do normal. Um, and both work very effectively, so yeah, that's also another thing you could do. <laughs> So for this last so that for this last exercise, I'm literally gonna do um, close grip pull-ups. Like uh, I don't know the specific name of it is actually, but literally, you know, hand will go here, the other hand will go here, you know, palms facing inwards, and it works like biceps and back. So I'm gonna do three sets of eight of that, and then uh, move on to the rest of this video. Take 
quiet real quick because my battery died outside whenever I was filming the last part of this, my explanation and whatnot. So, pretty much my explanation as to why I haven't um, posted a YouTube video in a long time is because, so essentially, um, I don't know if a lot of people that watch my videos know this, but I'm in college right now, I'm a sophomore in college, and um, so I just started doing classes that are like more based towards my major, so... Basically, all last semester, like I was struggling a lot with class and whatnot, and I had filmed a bunch of YouTube videos. And every time I would sit down to go edit that video, I would just start thinking, like, damn, like I'm kind of behind on classwork right now. Like I should just um, start doing classwork instead of film or instead of editing this video. So pretty much every single time it was a repetitive cycle of when I would go to edit that video. I would just like my conscience come in and say, damn, like you need to do your classwork because like you're not going to pass with the grades you need to pass with if you continue to go at the pit path you're going. So, fuck. Um, yeah, basically just like wasn't able to prioritize my time very well. And um, I planned this year that whenever this year started I was going to be a lot more consistent with my videos but life kind of got in the way this whole virus thing got in the way of that and um so for the last I want to say like month and a half maybe two months now probably just probably just a month I think actually I don't even think it's been a full month real shit but I was 190 and I'm 177 right now and I cut obviously 13 pounds in the past month and um, I'm just on like a basically a mini cut while this quarantine stuff's going on and the way my body is like I was eating like 4,000 plus calories a day on my bulk and the way my metabolism works like literally anything below 3,000 calories like I drop weight so fast so that's what's been happening and uh, I've been tracking my food a little bit like every other day kind of thing and I've been doing like a little bit of cardio like I walk my dog in the morning maybe twice a day type thing and yeah, so that's, you know, I just, uh, life got in the way and I'm going to try to be more consistent. I have like two videos that I could edit and I probably should and post those, but I genuinely rather just film new content. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. So there might be a new video in the next week. There might not be, but this video will definitely be going up. I don't even know what today is. But let's see, today is the 26th, so hopefully by the 27th you'll see this video. And uh, I hope you guys like this video, and if you do like this video and you want more content, please subscribe, please like, helps me out a lot. Um, and comment anything that y'all want to see. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Peace.